Hi, Gary Galka. I wanted to show everyone the APF device and how practical it could be for use in the field, which is really what the intention was when I, when I designed it. It is a memory storage device and it has a lot of capability for analyzing your audio signals that you receive. The, the key things that I want to show you is, you know, many people use it with their SB7 to reduce noise and play back their responses and so forth. But in actuality, you can use it with a whole range of different audio devices, not just my own, but anything that you have in the field, including your recorders. So what I want to do here is demonstrate the benefits of using in the field so that you don't have to use one of these to analyze your EVPs and things of that type. Some folks do a lot of EVP recordings, but they don't really have the whereabouts or the knowledge to analyze those recordings, or they end up waiting until they get home. What I'm trying to express here is that you can take the recording from your digital recorder and basically download it into your APF device. So let's go over it. I've downloaded a recording from the merge session that I did with Brandy Wells. Brandy and I did a session. Brandy is a very well-known medium. And we did an event in Brattleboro, Vermont uh, during the summer. And we had 50 plus people there. And we were getting all kinds of remarkable responses for the folks in the audience from their loved ones and such. And we had big speakers and we were playing those things back. Um, some of them were recorded on my RTEVP device. And that's what I'm going to analyze here today and see if you can keep up with my translation and deciphering of this recording that I, I captured. Very clear EVP, but let's go through it. So I have my X1 speaker, which has adjustable volume here that is being played through the audio output. There's nothing else connected because it works on a nine volt battery and it comes with a nine volt rechargeable battery. On the display, I'm capable of seeing the audio profile. I'm also able to rewind it, play it back slower, increase the tone or the pitch through a high pass filter, and then draw my own conclusions as to what I think the spirits might be saying. So here we go. I'm going to start it up and rewind it. Okay, so there's something right there. I'm going to listen through a little bit more. There's, okay, there's another response right there. I'm going to rewind that. I'm going to rewind that again. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to rewind that part again. I'm going to rewind it, add a little bit of a high pass filter. Okay, one more time. I think I have it. Okay, I'm going to pause it at that. So what I hear is I hear a spirit say, Ooh, someone wants to tell you something. And then the next response was, they're out there next to you. And I'm assuming that what they're saying by that is that your loved ones in the audience, their loved ones are next to them as we're having and conducting our merge session and the recording session. So let's continue with that because there's one more after it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, and the third one that I heard was 
try talking. So this is really uh, an interesting series of EVPs, all you know, all synchronized together, all uh, put together in a, in a little bit of a symmetry for people to, to hear. So you hear the first response and they say, ooh, somebody wants to talk to them or to you uh, in the audience, to their loved ones. And then you hear another spirit come through and she says, they're right there next to you. And the last one was, someone spoke and said, someone meaning a spirit spoke and said, try talking. They, she recognized, and she was probably broadcasting that to the other spirits that were within the room. And she's saying, try talking to your loved ones because they can hear you. So again, I, I just want to uh, bring this up because a lot of people don't recognize the power of a device that can analyze and play back and you have the ability to um, make your responses a lot more clear uh, so that you can help decipher it. Unlike a digital recorder, a lot of people will, will record and then listen, um, but this gives you a wealth of um, opportunity to basically edit a lot of the stuff that you record. So this is the APFD processor. This is kind of like what it looks like. Very small, it works on a nine volt battery. I use it for analyzing some of my responses on a whole range of different products. That's it.